In our vast universe, filled with wonders ranging from celestial bodies to mysterious ocean dwellers, each entity possesses its own distinct chemistry. Yet, the origin of this astounding universe remains a question of immense complexity, one that may require centuries to unravel. The birth of our universe, the Big Bang, was the ultimate cosmic explosion. Astronomers believe everything began from a tiny, super-packed point that suddenly burst into existence, expanding like crazy to become the massive universe we know today. It didn't stop there, it just kept growing and growing, like the ultimate cosmic balloon. However, the origin of this monumental explosion remains an enigma. Essentially, the Big Bang Theory entails a sprawling expansion of the cosmos. Initially, the universe was scorching and compact, but as the expansion persisted, it became cooler and less dense. Astonishingly, 13 billion years ago, the emergence of photons and quarks occurred, which served as the fundamental constituents of our reality. Not only did these stars possess different chemistries, but they also had varying lifespans. This resulted in numerous stars dying before humanity even existed. Aren't you curious about the extraordinary stars that perished before our emergence? Well, that tale will have to wait for another day. As the stars evolved, they transformed into more stable forms over time. Meanwhile, gravity acted upon the dark matter, dust and gas brought them together to form galaxies. A few hundred years later, clouds of hydrogen and helium gas appeared. Gravity pulled these clouds closer, causing them to become denser. However, as they approached each other, the clouds grew hotter and hotter. Eventually, they reached a temperatures reaching 10 million degrees Kelvin, triggering a nuclear fission reaction. This was how the first star in the universe came into existence. Countless galaxies continued to form, including our own Milky Way, the ultimate abode of humanity. Over millions of years, these galaxies began to merge, giving rise to numerous solar systems across different galaxies. Can you guess how many galaxies are there in our universe? Definitely you cannot. You, because the universe we can see holds around two trillion galaxies an amount greater than all the grains of sand on Earth's beaches. Dark matter played a significant role in this process. Although invisible to the eye, trust me when I say it held the most crucial role in the formation of the universe. It possessed a hidden force that shaped the immense structure of the universe. However, what resided within dark matter remained unknown since it had neither absorbed nor emitted any light. Humans have never laid eyes on the enigmatic dark matter, despite its dominance, comprising more than 80% of the universal matter. We assumed its existence, for without it, the actions of stars, planets, and galaxies would lack reason. Simultaneously, billions of stars were also formed through this powerful fission reaction these stars varied in form, chemistry, size, and lifespan. They represented only a small fraction of this incredible universe we know today. After billions of years of universal expansion, the sun finally appeared, the primary force behind the creation of life. Countless planetesimals were born, akin to infant planets. As these planetesimals grew and expanded, they collided due to gravitational attraction. The photons joined together, creating helium and deuterium. Afterward, the universe expanded for the next 400 million years. Clouds of dust and gas reacted and coalesce. Ultimately, the planets were formed. Now let's see how humanity's first abode, planet Earth, came into being. Understanding the formation of Earth and its moon is crucial 
in unraveling the history of the solar system and answering fundamental questions about planetary development, composition and habitability. It also served as a guide for astronomers in their quest for other potentially habitable worlds within and beyond our solar system. Earth's story began approximately 4.6 billion years ago within a disc-shaped cloud of dust and gas orbiting the early sun, comprising remnants from the sun's formation. Within this disc, particles of varying sizes orbited the sun at different speeds, enabling collisions and subsequent cohesion. Gradually, these particles grew from minuscule grains of dust to boulders and eventually into larger planetesimals, ranging from miles to hundreds of miles in diameter. Due to their size, these planetesimals possess a sufficient gravitational pull to divert neighboring planetesimals from their orbits and assimilate them through collisions. This process allowed certain planetesimals to grow exponentially, reaching diameters of thousands of miles comparable to the size of the Moon and Mars. In the old days, when the Earth was young, it wore a fiery robe of molten rock, stretched miles beneath its surface. This scorching layer was born from the forceful union of colliding energies. Any water that graced the scene could only take the form of ethereal vapor floating in the heavens above. It was very hard for life to evolve on Earth during the early conditions. It was around 3.5 billion years ago that the first prokaryotic single-celled organisms appeared. These prokaryotes underwent successive evolution, eventually leading to the emergence of multicellular organisms following the appearance of oxygen. Over the course of 4.6 billion years, Earth witnessed numerous profound climate changes that shaped the planet's evolution and its dwellers. Among these transformations, the formation of the atmosphere stand out as a pivotal factor, as it enabled life to emerge from the oceans and endure. With the stabilization of climate came the formation of the ozone layer. In the absence of an ozone layer, life was limited to the shallows of water. The water served as protection from harmful radiation which allowed life to exist. However, as the ozone layer thickened, life was able to expand and diversify on land, beginning 541 million years ago. The oceans gave birth to hard-shelled invertebrates, marking the start of increased diversity. The age of fish followed, bringing forth numerous species. Eventually, plants and fungi ventured out of the water adapting to the new conditions of dry land. Some fish remained near the shores and gradually adapted to life on land, developing lungs in the process. It was the amphibians who were the first vertebrates to successfully make this move. Another 600 million years elapsed before the first vertebrate came into existence, and thus the narrative never ceased, which brought us to the present day, where Earth is teemed with countless forms of vertebrates. Not only had vertebrates emerged, but a multitude of plant species continued to evolve and reproduce. But the tale didn't conclude here. 200 million years ago, the Earth belonged solely to the reptiles. It was the time of Pangaea. In a silent evolution, numerous creatures flourished until a cataclysmic event erased most of them. Astonishingly, this period laid the foundation for your present existence. Dinosaurs roamed the Earth for 165 million years. For a million years, mammals existed in a diminutive form. They likely sought refuge in the night to elude detection. Predation occurred as dinosaurs roamed. Gone animals arose as the mightiest land creatures, similar to animals, existed during that period. Walking whale, entered the ocean over time, they would transform into massive creatures resembling whales. Certain animals, such as primates, adapted to the new environment. All of this effort led us to the present day, 
humans eventually thrived on this verdant world. We had triumphed over earthly existence, mastering science, technology, and revolution. We are the supreme life form meant for this planet. But what if there is more? Could there be other hidden beings lurking in the vast expanse of the universe? And where are these beings right now? Why they haven't contacted us yet? But that's the portal beyond another veil. Let's explore it some other time, at same place, maybe with another you.